Nanaya, um, from where you sit, Morning. Uh, let's, let's take it that you will not be dealing with the cold facts that uh, the minister has access to, Okujeto have access to, and have a way uh, of looking at them that you will not have that opportunity. So tell us, what do you make of this policy? Samson, good morning and thank you very much. Um, good morning to your viewers. Good morning to my brothers. Um, honorable and honorable. Mm -hmm. You see, something I, I get a bit perturbed when issues concerning education are mixed in a rumble, a fumble, and politics. Because the policies concerning education in this country, whichever way you look at it, are good. But the issue comes when the implementation becomes a problem. For me, where I sit and from who I am, I would never go against any policy that seeks to help students go to school. Because Society for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, as you know, started the free education in the North, progressively to come to the other parts of the country, and he was um, taking off power. Free SHS is a good policy. And I do not think that any government has said free SHS is not a good policy. It is the plan the implementation. Some say that we are doing it progressively. Others are saying that we are doing it at once. Even that, when we come to the MPP, they did it progressively. They started from the first years, then went to the, the second year. So whilst those who were in first year were enjoying free, the second years were paying. Then the third years were paying, then it went on and on till it ended with the third years, and now they are paying for everybody. This youth manifesto is a good initiative because it gives the youth a certain kind of um, acceptance and importance. So for this initiative, I believe that it is good. And also when I was reading it, there is no specificity to it. They said to scrap academic fees for level 100 students through the no stress, no fee stress initiative. Level 100, as we stand today, nursing colleges, there's a level 100. Communication University, there's a level 100. Private University, there's a level 100. So then it takes the NDC to come and tell us what is their scope. Are they targeting? He'll be answering that question because a lot of people are asking it. Do you get me? Are they targeting and maybe progressively extend it to other universities? If you say level 100, there are also private level 100 students who also need. They say public, they didn't say private. It's uh, but private to school. No, for now, that's the policy uh, but, proposition. But, my dear, but <laughs> I don't see it here. They said to scrap academic fees. Maybe there's an addendum I haven't read. To scrap academic, you're a lawyer. To scrap academic fees for level 100 students through the no fee stress initiative. In public tertiary yes, institutions. I didn't see public. Yes, there. the full document. Okay. That's what is there. Okay. But why then do you discriminate? Because the, the, the people in the private schools are also part of the young people, the youth in this country. So why discriminate? Because those in private senior high school have been talking about it. I mean, governance and economic development are building blocks. And I believe that as governments come in and governments go, everybody will pick a part of the block to, to build on. If Ham and Kroma did it in the north, Namadu is doing free SHS. Um, when the, our constitution says that the basic level is free, His Excellency John Dramani Mohama says, when I come, I am going to do the tertiary one. I do not think that we have to politicize it. We need to find out how are you going to do it. A cursory calculation that I did, if we are doing all the 118,000, we are paying 257, 259, I make it 260 rounded up, million Ghana cities for the year. If you are doing the full 118, if you are doing the 74, you are doing 163 million. So where are we going to get the money from? The money that we are talking about concerning um, cutting government expenditure, how much, what work has been done to know how much has been accrued. That if I cut off 
ministry one, ministry two, ministry three, government machinery, um, also office of the president. How do you cut? So you need to do all that and know they, how... They explained that for Get Fund. Mm -hmm. And um, what's his name? Kofi Asari of Kofi Education Asari. Watch. Watch. Mm -hmm. That by this calculation, you need only 4% of Get Fund. To do if that. you are uncapping Get Fund, you need only 4% of the funds there to pay for all of it. But Get Fund has been capped for a reason. Mm -hmm. you get That's right. So if you uncap it... I mean, for my layman's mind, you said I'm not any one of them. So if you uncap it, whatever you capped it for, what will happen? You capped it for a certain intervention. Priorities. So what would then happen? My priority is fund this or pa place. Or fund this so place. what you were using the capping to fund is not my priority So, anymore. But what, what were they using the capping to fund? <laughs> I can give you a list of many things that we can cut. Uh -huh. National Cathedral. Oh. That's what they were using the money for. Oh, uh, sorry. Yes. Oh, yes. $58.1 million. Oh, sorry. It was from the, it was from, it was from the national coffers. Yes, but consolidated that, that one, fund. Yes, that okay. one. The capping of mm. get fund. Okay, you can't the, identify... It went into the consolidated you can't, you can't identify that this get fund amount mm -hmm. went here, but it is because it goes it's into the... It's all into the consolidated The, the larger pool. Yes, okay. those are some of the things they were using it for. $34.9 million. Is that a fair... That, that is a, that's, that's, is that a fair that thing is a, to do? That means it's a fact. 300 and it's, what, is it 300 and 39 million. 39 million is gone down the drain. Yeah. I mean, and no, nobody, uh, and you can't get that money back uh, somewhat unless maybe you go through a certain process. So don't lose your don't lose your thoughts. Ah, you see, he just got to keep keeps your focus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I was asking the question that the money, if it is uncapped, whatever it was being used for in the consolidated fund. What is going to happen to those interventions? I do not think that the interventions were all, I mean, non-productive. It is possible that maybe about 40% was non-productive, but let's say 60% was productive. So how then do you um, fund those ones? I mean, it's a question that we have to ask. Is Excellency also talking about Ministry of Youth? He said he was going to reduce the number, number of ministries. The to 60? Yes, the constitution allows... Premier is talking 50, right? Yes, he's talking... Okay. He said ministers. It yeah. means including deputy ministers. The constitution allows cabinet ministers at the level of 19. So any other, I mean, excesses are deputy ministers or ministries that are really not important. So the 19, yes. But if you are going to cap, then you have ministry of youth. Why don't you add youth to gender? So the ministry of ministry of youth and gender. Okay. You get it so that you reduce your cost because now we are reducing cost margins to ensure that we do the right thing. They are telling you that priority. Mm -hmm. This is what we want to do. Yes. Priority. Yes, but priority. But there's also gender too is priority. Women and gender and youth. We look after the young ones, so they would be in a better position to be with us. They haven't said they will scrap gender. They won't scrap it, but they should add the youth to it so that. I mean, it becomes, you save money. There, there will be one minister in charge of youth. So you are giving an advice. Yes, I'm giving okay. an advice that they should do that so that, mm. because we have spent so much money in this country mm. on some of these things, which are, look at the ministries, aviation, transport. It, it's a waste of money. Mm. It, I mean, it's truly a waste of money. And I believe that we need to save some money. When, when the, I don't know if I can go there, but when the deputy minister was talking, I got the impression from where I sit that he believes in the, the, the concept, the initiative, but because of politics, he's going around it to, make, to ensure that it is not accepted. So he was just struggling around it. But everybody who, I mean, loves this country should be able to accept such policies. Sometimes you were saying something I was laughing in my head. You said that you can pay your child's school fees. So, I mean, the user fee, admission fee. Many times over. Uh -huh. But you see, you, you drive on bad roads. Hmm. Your electricity is not of good quality. You don't have water. Hmm? I mean, so many things are not right. You pay taxes. So if your child is also enjoying a little bit of the taxes that you pay, that you paid all along, that you don't see the effect of it. So if your child is also enjoying some 2,200 as um, fees, 
I, I think it, it, is, it, it is acceptable. But we all know how these free things have affected and impacted quality. No, but it's, it, it's but a discussion we're having. Ah, that's what I'm saying. So when they put it down like that, we need to see the plan. Because for me, you don't, you don't just come and tell me that you are going to pay free fees mm. for, I mean, first year students. How are you going to do it? You are going to scrub um, the free SHS, the, what do they call it? There's a name for it. My son is going free SHS. So double track. The double track. track right. So how are you going to deal with it? Because now everybody is going, so everybody is going to SHS. So how are you going to deal with it? You are going to build more schools in the first year. We know what infrastructure is like. Okay, maybe then you say that you are going to then, I mean, go back to the e-blocks and all that. So we need a plan because the NPP did not come up with a plan with the, on the free SHS. Even though it's a good project, it has been performed. It has performed abysmally. It has been implemented anyhow without any seriousness around it because they didn't come with the source document. It is after the World Bank and other people started talking that they decided that they should have an ally. But an ally to what? Because there was no document surrounding that concept. And there's a need that if a government wants to come into power, we need to ask them to give us whatever they want to do. They should tell us. You say it, but put a, a timeline to it. Put a plan. You don't need law to implement a policy. No, I'm saying... If they are implementing a policy without law, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm talking about a source document. That's the policy. Yes, to tell me that, oh, I'm, I'm doing there's this no ABC. Policy. We've been yes, there's no the policy. There should be a source document. No Even in my life, I have a source document for my life. Oh. You have one, a plan. Re 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 Rev said this thing is far-fetched. But what you guys are saying to me now sounds far-fetched. Why is it far-fetched? <laughs> if if but to... there's no policy in the implementation no, of free no, you, you said ha Have you ever seen You said you don't need the law, but what is a source document? We've been asking him. Yes, everybody is asking. Where is the source document? Uh, hold on, uh, do, uh, uh, Rev, you are here.